Sandman432, and uh, I'm playing Mega Man 2 In um, the last part, part 2, we took on the first two missions, and uh, had a hologram of X appear out of nowhere and tell us something about a baby elf. Anyway, we're today we're going to take on the next two missions. Let's go today, or the first one we're going to do today is in the computer zone. This mission is about sabotage. There is one of the computers in Antarctica which controls the defense system of Neo Arcadia. Once you destroy the Guardian boss and the computer room, the defense of the enemy stronghold will be weakened enough to carry out Operation Righteous Strike. Will you do this? Yeah. I mean, the game won't progress if I don't, so I have no choice. Anyway, here we go. To Antarctica. Transfer start. Good luck. There are four cooling systems found for the computer of the facility. Once you destroy all of the systems, the abilities of the computer room will be weakened. Alright, we got ourselves some cool Mega Man music. I'm not doing an ice pun by cool. I didn't, I didn't need Oh well, um, we got an ice section. You could go down there in the water, it's quite easier. But to get the Cyber Elf... Well, I guess to get the Cyber Elf, you technically don't have to go on the ice. But to get this extra life, you have to, and I kind of messed up. So I'll just skip that for now. Just run along, don't run into the spikes, and uh, just slice up these things. Should be pretty easy. Pretty easy. Um, the first, like, the first 20 times I died in this level were in those first 30 seconds. So, um, when I say pretty easy, don't, um, take my word on that. Because I have several years of experience playing Mega Man games. Several years and several hours. So, um, yeah, when you spend that much time of your life playing Mega Man, then you get pretty good at it and you think it's easier. Same thing with anything, really. But, yeah, when I say it's something that's easy in Mega Man, just, uh, yeah, don't listen to me at all. So, um, we have these ice pusher things that sometimes they have ice and they push it at you. And then you have these vents that will freeze you, so stay away from them. And then you have these little gun things that shoot you. Basically, everything is trying to kill you, so either slash it or shoot it before it gets to you. Life advice. Anyway, um, we're halfway there. We've destroyed two of the generators now. Or the... what generators? That's the next mission. We've destroyed two of the cooling systems, and now we have this mini-boss here. And he shoots ice at you. He's one of the golems, but an ice version, if you didn't notice that. And then he killed him. He also rolls snowballs at you, and they are fatally deadly snowballs. Don't play with snow, kids. And, um... If you just dash under him when he comes that way, just, um, you should be fine. It's a pretty easy mini-boss. Again, don't, don't listen to me when I say it's easy, because it might not be. But anyway, you just continue on with the stage, and this part I actually do find pretty hard, because all this ice stuff, when you dash, it messes up your momentum, because it's ice and you slow down, or something like that. It's slippery. There. So you have to kind of dash about a second before you jump. So it works that way. And over here we have a cyber elf um, to the right, but if I don't get it right, I will run into a, a spike wall that will kill me. There you go. So just time your dashes correctly. It took me about five minutes to learn how to do that. This part is still pretty tricky. You have to dash and jump. All of this is really hard, but most of it can be avoided by just using, I think, the chain rod. I haven't actually tried it, but it would make sense since you can just, like, swing across. 
but uh, we've destroyed all four of these cooling systems and now we should be ready to take on the boss after a few more spike jumps that I died on, of course. I, when I was recording this, I actually did die several more times, but I didn't actually, I edited all of that part out, so I spent like three minutes just going back to that part and failing. Then I got to this part and died. So, uh, I'll have to just, so, uh, what you see on screen is like, um, a lot less time of gameplay than actually happens. Like, not a whole lot more, but quite a bit. Sometimes I use save states in my emulator to make you go faster, but you don't know that unless I tell you, like right now. But we're at the boss, so I'll quit talking about behind the scenes editing. I can just leave that to another video. But here we are. Whoa! You are the one? You are the one? to trying to destroy this and confuse us? Well, I won't let you do that. So this polar bear, he is um, pretty easy to fight. You just gotta destroy these these uh, tower things he throws at you and watch out for the ice ball pellets he throws at you. But he walks really slowly, so you get lots of opportunities to throw charge shots and slashes at him. You just don't get too close or he'll slash you instead. Destroy the ice, or the ice walls, so you have room to climb up the walls um, when he throws the ice ball at you. So always do that first and don't get caught between the ice wall, like I will in a few seconds. And don't get hit by the ice ball. Somehow that rhymed. But anyway, that's it. You don't really need his weakness, but that would make it faster. Um, but still, it's pretty easy. And there we go. Bobo Bofa. His last word. And the results. Alright, this is not too bad, but, um, I'm still not getting any of the skills. You actually need to get an A or better to earn the EX skills, which are like special moves for Zero that were in the Mega Man X games. So it's kind of weird. Uh, this is like the only game I think that that happens in. I think they fixed that in Mega Man Zero 3, even though I don't know for sure. So, but for now, let's take on the last mission for today. Not the last mission of the game, there's more. Trust me. But here we go. There is no way to exterminate all of New Arcadia. The rumor says there is an arms factory situated at about 100 kilometers north of our resistance base. Yeah, the metric system rules, man. If we destroy the power reactor, we should be able to limit their number of em em enemy soldier. An enemy. Get that reference, like, put it in the comments, please. Anyway, we're preparing for transfer now, and uh, we're going to blow up an arms factory. So yeah, let's do that. Destroy all power reactors to put a stop to the factory functions for good. Currently, there are four power reactors in operation. Okay, this level is kinda unique. Um, there are lots of branching paths, I think, that you can take. As far, as far as I know. And um, there are these bomb things that you can throw at walls to blow them up. And you can throw them at spikes, like we'll see later. But we're not there yet. But still, this level is really unique. You, When each generator is in a room by, its, by itself. And there are actually, um, I think, more than four because of the branching paths. So the level is bigger than you think it might be. Uh, but when you destroy the, when you go to destroy your fourth generator, then the boss will come into that room. So like right here, if this was our fourth generator, but I don't think that's possible, then um, if we destroy it, the boss would just come in, 
because we're already in the perfect room for a boss fight. So I think that's pretty cool. Just going on talking about that for the last minute. But now, in this part, we have to use these bombs to uh, blow up the walls, kind of, and uh, take out these spikes here, because they will kill you instantly, and if you don't blow them up, there's no way to get past them. Now, in the, here, in this next part, you can blow up the walls down there and go to the branching path, or the path down there, and there are more generators that way. But I'm gonna take this route because I think it's easier. And I couldn't quite get the other way. But this is was faster. For me anyway. And um Yeah, so we're going this way. This next part you have these burning platforms, but you can also use them as shields. Because in this part these things are trying to laser you to death. And you want to use these these platforms to block them. And once there's only like one or two left, you should be relatively safe, so you just go along. And now I could go to the right here, but now I'm gonna go this way. Skip all these E crystals because it's too dangerous. But then at this last part, we're going to try to grab this health using the chain rod. And try to stun that thing, long that um, little sp spinny thing to got stunned long enough, but no, it didn't. Uh, another thing about these is that each time you fight one of these generators, it, um, each one is stronger, or at least the defense systems are stronger than the last one. So the first one, it just had the pellets shooting into the ground and then disappearing, and this one it's bouncing all over the place. Or at least from the floor once. Took me a while to realize that that was a door you had to walk through, but now we are at the last generator, I think. And this one is actually easier because I think you were supposed to go in the- I think I was supposed to go in the opposite direction from this one to the one I just beat. But anyway, we're already at the boss with a cool sunlight effect. Let's fight him. What are you doing here? How dare you fool around in my area? I'm Phoenix Magnion. Well, you'll pay for this insult. With my Phoenix Flame, I shall purify your evil mind with my flame. Anyway, since he's a fire-themed boss, he's weak against electricity, so just when you charge up, fully charge your attacks with, a little, with, with their weakness, it does massive amounts of damage. So he has a few attacks. He'll, his main attack, he'll dash at you like that. So avoid that. He has another attack where, where he'll try to grab you, and if he does, um, he'll summon four enemies from Mega Man X, or the, from the Mega Man X series to attack you, like that. And then every now and then the ground will start shaking, and uh, it will shoot lava at your face. But uh, he also has this attack where he throws feathers at you, and one more attack where he... You see four of him, but there's actually only one hiding somewhere. And that's it. I already defeated him. It is pretty hard, but once you, once you learn his patterns, then it's easier. But I remember what I said about me saying easy. I'm just kidding. I should stop saying that, shouldn't I? But anyway, we beat him already, and that is the last mission for today. Let's see what we got for our grade. A B. That's, that's better than a C, I, I, I say, I guess. But anyway, mission accomplished, and the transfer is in progress to return to base. Okay. And we got the flame ship, so that's cool. Let's see what all Pies has to say. Thank you very much, Zero. Another concern has been handled thanks to you, and our preparations are moving smoothly. I'm now very confident of our success. Well, that's nice. Uh, we can't begin another mission. He just, uh, El Paizo just tells us to rest and save our games. Or, <laughs> save our game, I guess. And, um, since he's telling us to do that, I 
guess I can just do that and end the episode here. So, uh, thank you for watching. Um, okay. Peace and sheep. I'll just say that right there and leave so I can save this part and get it on the internet.